Hello guys, in this a long-awaited video, how to skip craft dungeons, slayer level, and how to make 2 million silver and 1.1 million fame being a new player. So everything about skip I will explain in this video. I hope you will enjoy. And of course, don't forget about likes and comments, guys. We're starting. And of course, there is the first question, how to enter Corrupt Dungeon Slayer level if you're a new player, how to get 100k in fame? So answer on this question, guys, just skip Corrupt Dungeons Stalker until you will be able to skip Slayer. So if you're only new in this game, so you only enter it, you got Mool, you got Tier 2 items, my advice, just kill mobs in open world, then just clean solo dungeons, you know, at least to get 4-1, 4 to equipment. I'm telling you, it's enough to kill mobs in open world and clean solo dungeons to get these items. How to pass Stalker Corrupt Dungeons, like how to get 900k AP. So for, for 900 AP, you just need enough 4.2 equipment. With the 4.2 equipment, you can skip on Corrupt Dungeon Stalker level. With this build, what I will explain in this video. So this is the one hand dagger with the torch, spectre jacket, any boots what you like. In this video, I played with the plate boots, but you can use leather shoes, you can use sandals, just exactly what boots what you want to level up in your specs. What about my cowl build you can find here? I played with a cool cowl just because of high speed of cleaning mobs and TV. You also can use Mage Cow, so it's up to you. You can use any different items in this build because this is built, it's just like a variant and what I played. Because we're talking about skip crop dungeons and our main reason why we're doing it, just to level up our specs. So this is this build and some different variants, it's just up to you. For PV, we're using Avalonian Beastium because it's a great combo with the Spectre Jacket. As you know, Spectre Jacket giving percentage from your HP like a damage, like a magical damage. So Avalonian Beast you each is damage and high region. That's a nice choice. When we get invade, right? So we need to break three crystals. Okay. We're using Invis Potion, we're using Amlet. Amlet decreases our cooldown rate. It means that our boots instead of 30 seconds will be like 25. And in this potion, instead of poison, will give our chance to reset or just evade our enemy easily. So I recommend to use 8.1 in these potions and 7.1 at least amulet. So now let's talk about skills. For PvE we're using Deadly Swipe, it's a second key, and also first W. As you can see, this is build actually kind of sticky and sometimes you can be knocked down like me and i have 11 billion fame but i knocked down yes so you need to be careful and just get more practice if you knocking down just super often what about choose of skills deadly swipe first w first passive it's just for pv when we get in, when we getting in weight we can use first variant with a second W or with a Shadow Age. But Shadow Age, being a new player, you just don't have enough uh, specs to play with a Shadow Age. So you can use this one or this one. Just up to you, you need to try and with the first variant and with the second variant. But if you're a player who already unlocked Shadow Age, Shadow Age in some variations, like when you have mobs, can be more useful than this one. So now, totally let's talk about build, right? You new player, you only enter this game, you played solo dungeons, you played, you killed some different mobs in open world, you got 4.2, you entered Stalker Crafted Dungeons, nice. Now we're talking about 
how soon you will get 100k in fame. Each is guys up to you. You can get it in one day, you can get it in one week, you know, it just depends on the person. But if you got 100k in fame, you will get a question, what build I need to use, what equivalent? So now we're talking about specs what you already have. In this video what I made, I played with a 5.2, sometimes with a 6.2, because I didn't have enough AP to enter Slayer. As you know, you need 1200 AP to enter Slayer Karate Dungeons. So, what useful tips we got from this video? If you're already available to skip craft dungeons, slayer level, do it. Build, I gave you. You can do some different modification in this build. And remember about Invis Potion Amulets. So, what if you're a new player? Guys, don't be afraid. Just skip, slayer, uh, skip Stalker Corrupted Dungeons until you will be able to skip Slayer level. You will get enough practice, you will get enough experience, and you will be ready to skip on Slayer level. So now, what about price of the build? Guys, you can use 500k build, you can use 1 million build, it's just all up to you. Of course, I recommend to use cheap builds, because if you will die, you will lose not so much, actually. And no worries about your specs, because you can skip on this build, as I said, with the first W, you don't need actually anything specs to play with the first W. And you also can use dash, if, you, if your Shadow Edge is not unlocked. So no worries about your specs, seriously, because you can play on this build with the zero specs and increase them just by the time. So guys, I really hope that this guide you found useful for yourself and your skip will be much better than it was. Now you will see some different moments from my skip moments when we skip and how we got 6 million silver totally. If you're going to bah! Bah! <laughs> so, you all, yeah. хочет то я очень за
Sam's a bad man. Вот ты как она зашла, я считаю, не нашел. Вот, в самом начале кинула к нему, реально. Карта дерьма. <laughs> Спасибо на это.
дерьмо видос получится просто сейчас. This video will show you how much we got in two hours. And also remember, if you're a skipper, play please out of cardinal because there is a black market. All these items what you got from chests, from mobs, from bosses, you can sell on black market and get plus 20 or 30% average price to your balance. For example, you're selling Alibar in four sterling for 40,000 silver. But black market can actually give you 60,000 as well. So play please in Cardo. And there is a 2.2 million items and some different runes, relic souls, silver bags and 600k tom of inside. So I wish you good luck in the skip crypto dungeons. And don't be afraid to die in craft dungeons, because it's your personal practice, it's your personal experience. Welcome to Albion. Thanks everyone for watching, there will be more videos on my channel soon, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Спасибо всем за просмотр, скоро будет больше видео на моем канале, поэтому не забывайте поставить лайк и подписаться на канал. Goodbye!